Hello, and welcome back to Yonder the Cloud Catcher Chronicles. I'm Pete, and as you'll see, I'm not quite in the same place as where I finished last episode, with some small animals running across the... phasing through the... Wow. Um, yeah, we're actually up at uh, Shivering Farm now. Uh, I did go via Mocker Bay, Cinderton and Inglenook, picked up lots of uh, coal and oil and all the other things that are in short supply. And then I came over here and planted and placed some stuff. So I think I, I had a farm plot uh, which I've placed here and put some stuff in. Basically, I want to try and get um, get all my me, me value produced up. And I think the only way to do that is with farm plots. And I've also crafted and placed some fodder troughs and water troughs just to make sure that the animals are happy here. Uh, which I, I think they, they are, or getting there. Anyway, so for this uh, episode, and this is the bit where I try and remember the keyboard shortcuts to get to the quest log, there it is, um, I'm going to be focusing on, I think, the Brewer Guildmaster and the Tinker Guildmaster. I kind of want to get these out of the way. Uh, there's also a Shivering Plains uh, Stone Bridge quite nearby quest to do, um, but let's, uh, let's get down to business. So I think the first thing I can do is, I think I can tinker up a seed maker um, here, indeed, and does that then get me uh, what I need to get Tinker Guildmaster complete? What's the details for this? Uh, yeah, I've crafted 1,000, so that is ready to hand in whenever I want. But first, um, should I place this? I suppose most of my most of my crop stuff is going on over at Southfield Farms. So it probably make more sense to have the seed maker there. So I'm not going to place it yet, but we are going to look into uh, getting some some brewing going on. Uh, so, firstly, I'm going to set my waypoint via the Shivering Plains Stone Bridge because I think I've got the stuff I need to complete that. Yeah, I can do that in passing. Whee! But yeah, to do lots of brewing, we are going to need lots more clay pots. So I think a little bit of a trip to Frost Fire Potters is going to be in order there. Uh, nothing to harvest there yet. Nope. Okay, let's do this stone bridge. Here we go, here is the sign. wonder what lovely things there's going to be on the other side. That's a nice bridge. That's a really nice bridge. And what do we have? So there's going to be some of these uh, mint things. Oh, and I heard a cat. I heard the little mew of a cat. Oh, hello, there's another sign here. What's this going to be? Good spot for a suspension bridge. Shivering Plains Wood Bridge. Okay, we've got the stuff we need, so let's do that. We're double bridging it today. Haven't really fully explored this island yet, but I'm assuming it's just some of these mint plants. And uh, we'll try and find the cat on our way back out. What about over here? What we got? I'm expecting some moderately good loot up here. You know, after all, I did have to make two bridges and I heard a cat. Oh, there it is. There's that cat. Hello, balls. Uh, come on, there's got to be more than just a couple of mint plants. There has to be. I'm, I'm really expecting a chest or something up here. Maybe I need to kind of drop down for it. Mm, gotta be careful though. I could end up somewhere where I definitely did not want to be. No, I'm not, I'm not seeing a chest. How incredibly anticlimactic. Okay. Well, let's start making our way back over to Frostfire Potters. Uh, oh, I think I see the cat. Look at it roll. Oh, cat, you're upside down. And now you're in my pocket. I assume that's how it works. I assume I've got a backpack full of cats. Which um, sounds a bit inhumane, really, doesn't it? All right, so I think that little chimney up there I can see is actually frost fire potters. It's not very far away. But I did also see a little murk spot while we were on the bridges. So let's get that polished off. Oh, hello. Rainbow shampoo. I'd be very surprised if I can't complete this murk. And I hear a cat. Is the cat within the murk? Looks like it. I came just in time. Who knows what would have happened to that little pussy cat if it had been trapped in there for any longer. Oh. 
Hello, little cat. Cat on a ledge. I'm not planning on 100%ing this game, uh, in case you're wondering. I feel like grinding the cats, which is a really bad phrase to take out of context. Uh, yeah, I feel like grinding the cats is probably not going to be a particularly satisfying process. Um, but, you know, I'm going to do some stuff. Right, clay pots. I think I can buy them from this chappy. Uh, they're selling four clay pots. I will take all of those. I will also take all of the coal. Vines, I think, are good for water. I'm not sure what our situation is. I would like more oil, but, you know, I can hold out. Okay, so I need to give 220. I should have oodles of spuds. Uh, so four spuds takes us up to 200, and then I just need 20 of something. Wow, look at all those herbs I've got. Um... What have I got that sells for 20 that I'm willing to part with? I've got a lot of golden mint. I can definitely spare two of those. Okay. All right. So now that we've got all of that, I think we can do some brewing. And since the, the quest will need to be handed in at Inglenook, I think it makes sense to be at Inglenook when we embark upon this. Okay. So here we are in Inglenook. Uh, I'm just going to quickly consult the trader just to make sure if he has replenished coal and oil. Oh, he has. He's replenished coal and oil. Brilliant. Uh, anything else we should grab while we're here? Uh, those bits and bobs might be useful. Actually, I've finished the tinkering, so I don't really need more. Uh, mortar's often in short supply. And I'll buy all the tree seeds as well. I might be overdoing it on tree seeds, but... You know, don't want to find yourself short on trees, definitely. Okay, six... Nine, six. So that's going to be a, a large number of spuds. Uh, about twice as many as that, actually. My mental arithmetic, not very hot. You know what, let's just slap another spud in. I don't mind being over by four. All right. Brewing. Brewing time again. So, in the brewer thing, which is here, I need... What do I need to do? I need some... Brewers. I'm definitely going to need some brewers kits. Let's make a few of those. Um, so I guess fireworks are the most valuable thing. So if I were to make a yellow firework, for example, where does that get us on the quest? That gets us to 334. Okay. So let's let's keep going with this. Um, can I make a red firework? Have some red dye. I need more red dye. And then another brewers kit. So I can make a red firework. Where does that get us to? 8. Five, five. We're getting very close. One more firework should be enough. Uh, so, uh, oh, have I run out of clay pots? Well, that scuppers things. Can I craft a clay pot? I feel like I can't. I feel, I feel like I feel like that has to be done as a purchase. Hmm. Oh, damn it! I think that means. Well, let's just see in case someone is selling a clay pot. I I think I'm going to have to go back to Frost Fire Potters. Ah, oh, great. Well, you don't have to watch it anyway. One thing I have noticed is this this building has appeared in lots of different uh, towns. I think it's to do with the quest I did in uh, Bobintoff. Let's talk to Cozy. Oh. oh gosh, it's you again. So what do you think? Oh. This is one of my cute marts that you'll see located around Jimmia. I'm bringing gruffle-themed fashion to the masses. Thank you so much for your help. And remember, at Cute Mart, we turn drab into fab. Quest complete, Cozy, the CEO of CuteCo. Uh, so yeah, this is a, a merchant who sells some tat. Um, various vanity things, cat ears, some beards. And they sell for these, these um, old world coins, of which I do actually have a few. So if I really wanted any of this... If I really wanted any of this, I could buy it. Maybe I should wear cat ears for a bit. Our oh, 50 is crazy expensive, actually. Could wear this little moustache. Yeah, let's let's wear a moustache for a while. Makes a nice change to these sort of mutton chops that I've got going on. Okay, let's equipify that. Just there. Oh, don't I look dapper? Right, yeah, I was I was heading back to Frostfire Potters to get those remaining required clay pots. And wishing that I'd planned a bit better. Okay, so I think the merchant won't have any clay pots, but we can trade clay uh. for clay pots here. Uh, and yeah, we do have a lot. Okay, so let's let's just try making one. 
And then let's attempt another little craftage. Um, I'm, I'm going to need two, because I'm probably going to need to make a firework as well, aren't I? Uh, so what? Well, we've made a yellow firework and a red firework. I want to make a blue firework. There we go. And that, I think... Yeah, that's the quest complete. All right, let's let's celebrate. Um, let's. Well, we've got two yellow fireworks, so let's let's let one of those off. Ah, maybe I'll get a better effect if I don't do it during the day. Ha! Huh. That was a bit of a waste, wasn't it? Never mind. Okay, let's um let's go to Koo the Colourful back in Inglenook and hand this quest in then. All right, here we are, back at Inglenook. Let's jump the fence. Ah, oh, that didn't work very well. And this is the person we want to talk to. Well done. You have mastered the arts of the brewer. Quest complete, brewer guild master. It's not much of a big celebration, is it really? I do get a few new recipes, though. So I can now brew up lots of different coloured dyes. Oh my. Lots of shampoos are available to me. Such fun. Uh, what badges have I got on my on my bag? I've got Brewer's Guild Novice, Carpenter's Master, Chef Master, Construction Master. Okay, I think I should take off Brewer's Novice and put on Brewer's Master instead. Uh, so I'm currently... I don't have... Yes, it's, that's my four Master badges uh, I'm currently wearing. And the Novice ones I don't have room for on the rucksack. I wonder if you can get a rucksack that has more capacity. That's certainly a very important thing. All right, we're going to hand in the Tinker Guildmaster quest. I think the easiest way to get to Ruby TikTok is actually to climb to the top of Numino Peak and then drop in on her from above. So let's do that. One thing I'm just quickly going to do is check the map and see what's to do in the Shivering Plains. Because I think 91%. So I just need to... Oh, there's one more sprite somewhere and there's one missing tree spot. But mainly it's about just... In improving my farm and then this area will be 100% complete. Now as I say I'm not going for 100% completion in this game but I would like to clear all of the merc and, and maybe do all of the side quests but as far as tree spots and sprites are concerned I think trying 100% on that would be a bit tricky. But I mean for example if we go to Numino Peak there's a couple of merc spots that I can pick up here um, and then that area will be 100% complete as far as my personal purpose. My, my purpose personal goal for completion is concerned so uh yeah let's let's shoot for that let's just get a little bit of resources here and then yeah let's try and get let's try and get to the top of numino peak all right here we are back at cinderton i'm just gonna have a little look in this direction to see what would be required to get to this merc patch that's just beyond the uh the sage stone so it looks like there's a Merc patch kind of to the right here. Yeah, so... How close is that Merc patch? It's very hard to tell, isn't it? It might be a tricky one to get to. I think I do see a Merc patch down there. Which farm is that overlooking? That is that the Sunderwind Wilds one? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, for now, uh, I was going to hand in the Tinker Quest, so let's uh, let's pick a beeline for that. So I think if I keep going this way, it takes me to a nice outcropping, which allows me to jump in on whatever I seek. Okay, let's go for it. Yep, yeah, just aim for... Well, not quite for the glowing purple thing. But uh, definitely in this vicinity. I think it's that little yellow circle to the right. It's the exact spot where we're going to hand in. This is a very pretty area. I assume that this house isn't enterable, but there is a chest. A side boof. <laughs> boof is a word, isn't it? Right, Ruby TikTok never sleeps. Let's hand in this quest. Ah, 
Well done, you have mastered the arts of the Tinker. Quest complete, Tinker Guildmaster. I don't have room on my backpack for any more badges, so I'm not going to do that one. Uh, while we are down here, I think there's a merchant or two. So let's just check to see if they've got anything we need. Hello. Uh, always stock up on coal. Uh, always stock up on... Uh, let's, let's, no, there's no point picking up Tinker things. I think I do want to pick up various, like, stone buildy things because there's still another stone bridge quest to do. So we're going to want all of that. Uh, everything else I think we're good. Uh, so that's quite a lot of potatoes again, but isn't it always? Uh, so that's about that's 11 potatoes. Not quite. Uh, that'll do. Yeah. Don't mind giving away half a potato. So how's things looking in this area? This Dapplewood Forest. Okay, so there's still a quest or two to go. That's interesting. And I don't know where that is, because there is not currently a marker on the map telling me that there is a outstanding quest. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge, isn't it? Okay, let's have a look at the quest. So we now have a much shorter quest list here. However, we haven't done the Sunderwind Wild Stone Bridge. And I think, I think the Sunderwind Wilds Farm is currently one that's in need of improvement. Um, yeah, I think that that one maybe doesn't have a farm plot yet. Uh, so maybe it's worth heading towards that. Uh, I, th I think this one has a farm plot. Um, but yeah, maybe I should be heading towards this farm plot, maybe via that Merc. Let's, uh, let's set a, a destination there and see what we can do. Of course, the terrain might block us from taking this path, but we'll play it by ear. I feel like this is an area of the map that I don't go to very often. Can't even remember what that merchant up there does. Okay, so there is a merc patch kind of over here somewhere. Can I climb this? That's doing me absolutely no benefit at all, isn't it? Don't know why I bothered. Uh, there's a tree spot here. Let's uh, let's fill that in while we're here. Yeah, I think that merc patch up to the right. Oh, and there's a, there's a chest there. Um, let's try a little bit of jumping. Not holding out an awful lot of hope. These rocks look a bit hostile. Oh, no, 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 no not so bad. Okay, yep, yeah, might be able to get to that chest. Oh, it's already open. Huh, it looked like it wasn't open, but I was just looking at the back of it. Okay, yeah, the merc patch there. That might not be climbable to. Maybe it is, actually. Maybe I can loop back to the right here. Let's try that. Yeah, I think we're golden. Oh, hello. What are you? You're some sort of graceful animal. Uh, use some sprites. Clear this patch. What have we got? A couple of tree spots in the chest. So, shampoo, I'm guessing. Uh, no, that looked like it was just more tree seeds. Okay, very tree-themed, this area here. But fine, okay, a few of those. And let's head towards our little farm here. Okay, back at the farm. How is this farm looking? Yeah, basically there's, there's no value being produced by this farm because of the absence of uh, a farm plot. So, question is, do I already have one in my inventory? I don't think I do. I think the one I had I placed, placed at uh, Sunderwind. Can I carpent one up? Uh, looks like I can. One garden plot. Do I have any seeds for it? That's going to be another question. And the answer to that's probably going to be no, which is going to scupper everything. Uh, so let's place this farm plot. So uh, where's Tidy? Um, let's pop it here next to this little fountain or whatever it is. And do I have some seeds to go in it? Not looking promising, is it? These are all tree seeds. Hmm. Okay. All right, we're going to have to come back here and plant some seeds at some point, but that's fine. Uh, the red chest is the one where any items come in, but there are none because this is not a very good farm. Uh, 
what else we've got? There is a, a Merc patch on the other side of this, which has been banjaxing me. Unless I can kind of scoot around here. Oh, yes. Nice. Yeah, in an earlier episode I spent way too long trying to get into there, and now it's just all bubbled out. Beautiful. Uh, some crap boxes is all that this offers. Let's see what's in them. Ha, huh, poor, very poor. Uh, anything around the back? Well, there's a chest. Could be an option to redeem. Uh, some, oh, some golden coins, yes. Nice. Right, so there's a stone bridge just down here to do. Let's go get that done. Do we have the necessaries? Uh, note, we need arch and many pillars. Question is, are we in a position to craft these? In fact, one thing I do know is that one of the merchants here does tend to sell those items. So let's start with that. Yeah, this merchant over here. What have you got? Um, oh, no, no, I was wrong. Apparently they sell woodeny things. Okay, disappointing, but still, right. Let's look about, let's look at the crafting approach. So, up there we can see we need one stone arch. Is that something that we are in a position to make? Uh, stone arches, as we need some constructors kits. Okay, we can certainly make a few of those. So there's the stone arch we desire. So then we need to make four stone pillars. That is an awful lot of stone pillars. Um, one, two, uh, constructors kits, three, and we need a keystone, which we can make, and then a constructor's kit gets us the pillar. Nice. I'm glad that we had prepared by gathering resources up the wazoo. Okay, let's build this little chappy. Another very nice bridge, as they so often are. And let's see what's on the other side. Big boulder. Squamble. Um, maybe there's like, I don't know, this might be one of these situations where it actually acts more as just a, a shortcut to another area that you already have access to. Let's run around here and see if, see if something familiar happens. Uh, there's a question mark over there, patch of murk. And it's possible that this is the only way to get to this patch of murk. Well, I will clear it. A mere five sprites, which is quite a small number. That feels like a very early game Merc patch. Okay, and plenty of tree spots here. Let's pop down some of these. I saw one back there as well. And while it's dark, we should have a bit of firework fun, shouldn't we? Let's let off a red one. Right. Awkwardly. There we go. Yeah, you can't angle your camera up very high, which makes it difficult to really get the, the full benefit from the fireworks. Okay, and then this is taking us back round to Shivering Plains. Okay, so yeah, that was just a shortcut. Right. So, quest log looking much shorter now. I think what I want to do is I want to head back to the Southfield farm. So let's make ourselves a traveller's knot and let's get over there. Okay, how are things looking here? Uh, nothing to harvest there. Well, there's something to harvest there. Okay, very nice. Um, and there's some stuff in the loot chest. A lot or a little, just one piece of wood. Right, so one thing I did notice while looking back at some previous, oh, collect the trap. Uh, while looking back at some previous footage was there is a, a farm i believe somewhere around here in hearthwind vale so when we were first exploring well not first exploring hearthwind vale but when we when we did our big explore where we ran through the middle of hearthwind vale we jumped off a ledge somewhere around here into this canyon and there was actually a, a farm down here that i kind of missed so i think i'm going to head over and do something with that 
Uh, there was also some kind of... Let's see if I can get my bearings right. There was some kind of pair of statues around here on the side of a hill. Uh, I think maybe a little bit further to the west. Let's head over there. Uh, we're at some sort of statue rotation based puzzle. Um, these ones here, yeah. So there's a sign saying at sunrise we wake, at sunset we sleep. So I think I basically need to rotate these appropriately. And I think I was close, but not quite. So let's just try uh, getting this right. Let's try one more slot that way. There, that's it. Ah, you woke me. Well, you shouldn't give up on your dreams. So I'm going to take a little nap in your backpack. There we go, we've got a sprite. That's good. That's that little loose end tidied up. Okay, so we're going to try and get to this farm. So I need to get up onto the, the high ground that runs along the south edge of Hearth, Heartwind Vale. Also, one of these things, I, th I think, yeah, there's basically two forms of native animal in this area. Uh, and that's, that's hopefully what we're going to be able to introduce to this new farm. Up there-ish to the right, I think. I think it's on a plateau up here. If my bearings are anywhere near correct. Sort of dead ahead. Yes, yeah, so we just need to work our way up there. Going through the little farty bog. Well, this is more colourful than it used to be. I think the moths have been working their magic. Okay, I seem to have found myself on the beach. I'm not sure if that was my intention. Oh, I do see a sage stone up there. Um, but I'm not going to be able to get to it from here. Uh, this is just a little kind of alcove that contains a few smashables. Uh, nothing of great consequence I can see. That said, I do like breaking stuff. All right. Yeah, I need to approach this from a slightly different direction. Ah, up this ramp, maybe. Oh, yes, convenient little bridge. Try not to get stuck on scenery, though. Okay, yeah, I think step one is try to unlock that sage stone. So what's the correct way to approach that? This looks perfect, actually. All right, what do we need to do to get this? Show me your personality. Clothing is a very personal form of expression. I need to wear a new outfit three times. Um, and now this might be a problem because I think I've put all of my clothes into storage. Okay, well, I'll be able to access them once I've unlocked the new farm. So all is not lost. Let's go back up this little ramp. And let's try and make our way around to the next step of the plateau. Oh, and you stay there. You're in a very good place. I'm going to need you in a minute. Here we go. Yeah, so basically, we, we kind of dropped off just here in a previous episode. And look what we have here. You can build Hearthwind Farm. Build Hearthwind Farm. Yes, please. And here is Hearthwind Farm, and it's a beauty. And so now we need to go about improving this. But we will do that in the next episode, I think. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you will join me again.